Hello beautiful people. Welcome to Big Bufu Corinth channel. This is another interesting video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be revealing top 25 Nigerian celebrities and actors who lost their life in the year 2021. If this is the first time of watching my video, I want you to know that I post only interesting video on this channel. Consider hitting the subscribe button, do well to turn the bell notification icon. So anytime we post fresh content like this, you'll be among the first to be notified. Also give this video a thumbs up. God bless you. Watch this video to the end to find out the stars we've sadly lost in 2021. I will no longer see their new works or movies. Augustin Ogolun, the popular known Tespen, also known as Double Spanner, passed on in the year 2021. The shocking news of his passing was reported on Facebook on May 5th, 2021. According to reports, the great actor passed on after that minute ailment, which put him on sick bed for a few months. The actor has featured in countless Nollywood movies before departing at the age of 62. Abildun Alaja is a popular Nigerian actor who is notable for his role in the movie October 1. He was reported to be sick. Chief Bruno Iwoha was a veteran Nigerian actor. He won the Best Supporting Actor Award at the Third African Movie Academy Award for his performance in the movie Sins of the Flesh. Sadly, Chief Bruno Iwoha died on the 10th of April 2021 at age 69. Sadiq Daba was an actor and also a broadcaster. He won an African Movie Academy Award for the Best Actor for a role as Inspector Waziri during his lifetime in the movie October 1. He also worked at the Nigerian Television Authority NTA. In 2017, he announced he was diagnosed of leukemia and prostate cancer. He has been on fundraising support by several Nigerians. He joined Project Pink Blue to commemorate World Cancer Day. 3rd of March 2021, he was sadly announced dead at the UK General Hospital, Ikeja, Lagos State. Rachel Oniga, July 30th, 2021, was a heartbreaking day as veteran actress. Rachel Oniga died of a heart related issue. She was instrumental to the movie industry in Nigeria. Oniga began her acting career in 1993, shortly after a divorce. Her first movie titled Onome and her debut Yoruba movie titled Owo Blue. And also, she featured in notable Nigerian movies such as the popular TV series Super Story, directed by Wole Adenuga, and the movie Shango, scripted by Wale Ogunyuni. She died at the age of 64. Alright, if this is your first time on this channel, be informed that we post only interesting videos on this channel. Do well to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell so anytime we post fresh content you'll be among the first to be notified and also give this video a thumbs up rich oganiru on the 10th of august 2021 rich oganiru was announced dead as a result of a prolonged illness he was reported the first celebrity to die in the month of august 2021 he was known for the movie such as Wasted Effort, Payday, and Giver Never Lacks. Rich Oganeru, aside his acting career, has served as an evangelist with the Davidical Order Ministry and held the role of a corporate marketing consultant to the Abuja chapter of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Sir Victor Waifu, the legendary singer, guitarist, musician, composer, 
died on the 28th of August 2021. Sir Waifu, a professor of arts at the University of Benin, who was widely known for his journey in high life, won the first goddex in Africa, Jeremy, which was released in 1965. He also won seven other gold decks in Guitar Boy, Akwetem Music and Arabata. At first, information had gone viral claiming that he died as a result of COVID-19. But the family debunked the news, stating he died as a result of pneumonia. He passed away at the age of eight. Victor Bulauta. Having his sad story circulating the famous actor known in the Tinsel TV series, Victor Olauta, struck us with shock as he was announced dead on the 26th of August 2021. According to reports, he has been ill for the past five years following a brain injury he sustained in a car accident in October 2016 at Apple Junction, Vesta, Lagos State. He was featured in movies such as Three Wise Men and Unveil. He died at the age of 69. Prince Ifan DK. Prince Ifan DK, an actor and the board of trustee team Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, died on 27th of August 2021, shortly after the demise of Victor Olauta. The famous actor known in Tinsel TV series, DK was hospitalized for weeks as a result of kidney-related issues. The chairman of Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, announced that they have been financially battling with his medical issues shortly before he passed away. Bessarian Nollywood actor Ines Osozu died on Tuesday, 26 January 2021 after he suddenly slumped. The president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rulas, confirmed Osozu was rushed to the hospital after he slumped, but died before they got there. His wife also confirmed that he has been battling with various health challenges, like blood pressure, but some kind-hearted Nigerians helped in the past and he was treated. The Nigerian movie industry has lost yet another icon as veteran actor Jim Lawson Madike died on January 9, 2021. The Imobond Thespian died after reportedly complaining of body pains at around 12 am. Before his death, Madike was a famous Nollywood actor, radio broadcaster, writer, voice-over artist, filmmaker, and a television personality. He joined the film industry in 2004, where he featured in several movies. His death comes after the demise of popular Yoruba actress Fulake Arumi, popularly known as Orisa Bumi. Orisa Bumi was a native of Ola in Kwara State died at the age of 60 at her residence in Ibadan, Oyo State. She was said to have died after a brief illness. The Kwara-born actress dies four months after the death of her ex-husband, Jimo Aliu, who was popularly known as Aruwu. She was well known from the 80s for her role as a priestess, pacifist, or the good witch in movies she has future. Stanley Okoro It was a shocking news as Stanley Okoro, a Nigerian actor, died on the 11th of August 2021. He was popularly known for his comedies in the Nigerian movie industry. The content creator reportedly died of suspected food poisoning after his movie shoots in a hotel at Maryland, the United States. According to some sources, Stanley Okoro died at the age of 28. Sotonye Green Nollywood actress Sotonye Green died of COVID-19 in 
January 2021. She became the first Nollywood actress to have been confirmed killed by the deadly virus in the movie industry. The death of the Riverborn actress was made public by her friend, David King, through her Instagram page. Miss King said she had taken her to the Yaba Isolation Center, blaming the Yaba Isolation Center for killing the boarding actress for their incompetence. She announced the deaths on her Instagram page, saying, Please and please help spread the word. Yaba Isolation Center is a dead trap where only the rich and famous are treated after their doctors have been bribed. Rachel Bakan. Rachel Bakan, a Nigerian actress and television presenter, died at 38. Bakan died as a result of anemia at a private hospital in Abuja on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. After a brief illness, her brother Armstrong Bakan revealed that Rachel died at 12 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon with her mother by her bedside. Lambert D.K. The family of Lambert D.K. was thrown into mourning on Friday, 5th March 2021, when the spirit of death paid a visit to the family and took away the veteran actor. According to reports, D.K. was sick and traveled back to the village at Olu in the States towards the end of 2020, thinking that he would return to Lagos after he regained his strength. Unfortunately, DK did not recover from the sickness before he passed on. DK had featured in both Igbo and Yoruba movie before he took his last break, exactly eight days to his birthday. His birthday was supposed to be on March 18th, 2021. Dr. Fraps, on Saturday, February 27, 2021, Nigerian music producer Ayurinde Fabo, more popularly known as Dr. Fraps, passed away in his home in Maryland, United States of America, where he lived. Dr. Fraps, is an acronym for Doctor of Flavor, Reading, and Blues. Before its relocation, Dr. Fraps worked with few top Nigerian artists, likes of Whiskey, Let's Dark Green, Davido, Neto C, 2DK, Weird MC, and Omaomi. A lot has been thrown around about how he actually died narrative that everyone seemed to be going around with is that he was shot. Obama DMW 2021 has indeed been a sad year for the Nigerian movie industry. Also, singer Davido and DMW crew in general. Another prominent member, Habib Otman popularly known as Obama DMW. According to reports, Obama died of suspected heart failure on Tuesday, June 29, 2021. It's been confirmed he drove himself to Eva K Hospital in Lakey, Lagos State. To complain of breathing difficulties, he was admitted to the hospital where he died a few hours later. Obama was born on January 29th. He was a leading Nigerian entertainment executive, an artist manager until his death. He was highly affiliated with the Video Music Worldwide family, DMW. Dirty Bilionga. Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing. Make sure you smash the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post another interesting video on this channel right thank you very much see you guys in the next video